today's video is going to be a mixture of a few different things type of vlog. I want to go thrifting and bring you all along to look for some pieces that I'm on the hunt for and then I'm also going to share with you what I find when I get back home and a little thrifted try on clothing haul with some of the pieces that I found at Goodwill today. Um, and then I'm also going to get some of our seeds started. I want to start like our lettuce and kale and I thought I would bring you along for that because y'all really enjoyed when I shared starting our seeds and some of the garden content I shared last year. So I hope that you enjoy this. For breakfast, I'm going to scramble up some of the eggs from our chickens and we love onions and peppers in our scrambled eggs. So I'm going to cut up an onion and get that in the skillet. And then these peppers are ones that we grew in our garden last year. We cut them up and froze them. That way they would be easy to throw into dishes like this. So I'm going to put those in there, let those get nice and soft, and then we're going to have some scrambled eggs. And then after this, I have a fun new piece that I want to share that we added to our living room. And then we're going to go thrifting. So stay tuned. Welcome back. It is a beautiful sunny day and I'm so thankful for the sunshine. I'm feeling very inspired and uplifted today and I wanted to bring you all along throughout my day. I've had several of you request this style of video recently because it's been a really long time since I've done one. So I thought it would be fun to bring you along. I have several things to share. I have a new furniture piece, um, two new furniture pieces actually that we just brought in this weekend, but I already shared the first one. If you missed it, um, I will have it linked below, but I recently just filmed this morning me um, sharing the new hutch behind me. So if you want to hear more about that and the story behind it, definitely check out that video. You will see that before you see this one. Um, and then we also have another piece that we found at a yard sale over the summer and we just had not got around to refinishing it yet. So we worked on it this weekend and transformed it. I'm so excited to share it. And I'm also gonna be like decorating it today and putting some stuff inside of it. So I'm gonna share that. And then this morning, um, I was reading through some of my comments and thank you so much if you take the time out of your day to leave a kind comment on my videos. It means so, so much to me. Um, and I was reading through this morning and somebody had such a good idea and now it has me wanting to run out to the thrift store and see if I can find this. Um, but one of you said to put a lampshade on the lamp here in the living room. She said it would look so much better and I had never even thought of that. I had never had that idea and I'm just like literally a light bulb moment and I'm like that is such a good idea. So now I kind of want to go find a lampshade and see if I can thrift one like a vintage one to go on there. I think it would be so pretty and I looked up some ideas on Pinterest of like vintage lampshades and it looks so so cute with one of those on there. She also said that I could get one and recover it with fabric and I just think that that is also such a sweet idea. Okay, here's the beautiful wooden trunk. I wish I had a before picture of this. I don't think I do. I didn't remember to take a picture and I didn't share it in a haul or anything. It was back in July or August that we found this and we stopped at a yard sale. I spotted it, it was only $20 and I have never seen a wooden trunk or chest for only $20. That is such a steal and it is heavy and such nice quality. I'll take all this off of it in just a second and share it with you and show you the inside and all of that. Um, it definitely was like hand built. I don't think it's really old or anything, um, but it definitely, like someone definitely built it. And it's just beautiful and I'm so excited. I love the idea of having like a wooden chest to store your extra blankets in. I'm going to store like my um, vintage blankets and linens and things that I've collected. Um, and it's going to be such a nice place to store them in because right now I just have them all in a tote. But I'm excited to have them in the living room in this chest. And I just think it is such a beautiful addition. Here's what it looks like. Just a beautiful sturdy 
wooden trunk. Here's the inside. I'm so excited to get this filled with all the blankets. some of the blankets I'm gonna put in there this one I've got at a yard sale years ago for like a dollar it's just a really pretty I actually remember my mom had one of these like crocheted blankets growing up that she always had on her bed um, but anyways just a few things like that that I love but I just don't have out anywhere right now I'm gonna fold them up nice and put them in there Okay, now let's head out to the thrift store and see if we have any luck finding a lampshade for that floor lamp. Again, I would love to find a vintage looking shade, but I also love the idea of covering it with fabric. So we will see what we find eventually, but I love those ideas. So thank you again for whoever left that comment. I'm excited to find a shade for that. And our first stop was Goodwill. I loved these little glasses. They did say made in England. I just love the floral on them. They were 99 cents each. And I thought they were a really pretty shape. Those would be so pretty for spring or just for all year round if you have like that cottage type of style. And then I always come across these Wexford glass pieces and I think they're so pretty so I thought I would share those. And then I also took the time today to go through some of the clothes at Goodwill and see if I could find anything new. I love to thrift my clothing. I have been thrifting clothes since like before I can even remember uh, my favorite thing used to be going back to school shopping at Goodwill mom would take us I would get my own little buggy and I would just fill it up with all kinds of stuff and go try it on and I just remember it being so exciting we would also go to like a ton of yard sales in the summer to pick out new pieces before back to school and it's just something that I still love to do it's so fun to pick out those unique pre-loved pieces and give them a new home in your closet. And something else I have loved thrifting for recently is vintage clothing. And I recently found some pieces that have just made me fall in love with vintage clothes. I found some vintage sweaters and there's something so special about them. So I was browsing through today to see if I could spot any more pieces like that. But I will share everything I did get as soon as we get home. I'm back home and I had so much luck. It's been a long time since I found that much at Goodwill. I found some dishes for the hutch, some clothing pieces, some really fun stuff. So I think I'm gonna share part of it, mostly like the dishes and stuff in a separate haul. And then I'll share part of what I got in today's vlog. I found the sweetest lamps for our bedroom. I am really hoping they work in there. They're so cute. So I'll share those with you, the clothing and all of that. And then I also got a hydrangea and I'm really excited about it. I'm gonna plant it and put it in a pot. Um, and I'll share all of that with you. So let's head inside. I'm gonna plant this hydrangea in this white ceramic pot and put it on the coffee table. And I am hoping that this is able to stay alive good until closer to spring when we passed our last frost date and I'm able to plant it outside in the flower bed. I already have one of these that I planted a few years ago. So I thought I would get one to go on the other side. And it had a little card with it that gave tips for keeping it alive inside and it's doing really good so far so hopefully it will continue to but it tells you like the temperature to put it at and how much water it always needs to be really heavily saturated with water so I've been watering it a ton and it is looking so full and beautiful so I'm excited about this it's crazy just how much a flower or just a simple green plant can just bring you so much happiness, especially during the dark winter months. 
Also, I know we're still several weeks until spring, but planting this flower today just has me wanting to bring out all of the florals, all the terracotta pots, the baskets, the straw hats. I've even been starting to get out a few of my garden books. It has been such a gloomy February and I'm just ready for sunshine and for happy spring things. <laughs> And then here are my little clothing finds. And then I did grab this little creamer for a dollar. Um, because y'all know I love those. Um, I absolutely am in love with 100% wool pieces. And this one, it looks like it is a vintage piece. It has a um, vintage looking tag and it is 100% pure wool. But it's not like an itchy wool. It's actually... Just like a really comfortable material and i love this color green i would have loved to have found this back around the holidays it would have been so pretty to wear like around christmas um but a lot of times you don't find those really really good pieces around the time of year you're looking for them so if you do see one you know that's months away from the next season but it's a piece that you love that you know you'll wear a lot it's definitely a good idea to go ahead and pick it up so that's why i went ahead and got this even though i will wear this more around like the holidays thanksgiving christmas things like that um and of course it's still cold out um and pretty wintry so it's good for right now too but just with this color um I know I'll wear it a ton around Christmas, so it was a good idea to go ahead and pick it up for $5 um, because it's just such a high quality piece. It even has these nice little gold buttons and it just has a really vintage feel to me, so I just really love it. So I went ahead and got that and then um, I found this, which I will wear a ton this spring and summer. I love this top. It is 100% linen, so again, a really good quality piece that I know I will get a lot of wear out of. And then these are my absolute favorite type of shirts. These like old men's soft 100% cotton button up shirts for the garden in the summer because I love to throw on something loose like this. I became obsessed with these last year because of how much I wore them outside because I wanted to wear a tank top but with my fair skin I burn so easily. So it's awesome to just throw this on on top. It's lightweight and comfy and it's you know just a really good quality item that if it does get stains or wore out it washes up good and you can just wear it over and over and over um and i loved this color blue i thought it was so pretty for spring and i could just see me and i would even wear this out like kind of just with the tank top tucked in with jeans and with this over it and i think it's the cutest thing so grabbed that and then I got this one this is I believe it's vintage Tommy Hilfiger um it looks vintage anyway 100% cotton and I just love the stripes this would be such a cute like bathing suit cover-up again over a tank top with high-waisted jeans or high-waisted shorts it's this really pretty blue pinstripe so those are my little finds I just thought I would share with you some of the clothing pieces that I found It's kind of hard to see what the clothes look like laid out, so I thought I would share a few clips of me trying them on. And this to me is just the perfect summer casual shirt, the perfect garden shirt. This right here is just absolutely everything I love. Just very comfy, casual. I love the blue color. And then this one feels a little bit more beachy to me. Like I feel like it would be a super cute cover up, but then I will also wear this just in the garden and um, just like very casual with jeans during the summer. And then here is that simple white linen top. And then I love this sweater. I will definitely wear this more around the holidays, but such a pretty piece. Okay, now how fun are these lamps? I just love them. I thought they were so sweet. And I have been wanting to find a way to add a more cottage feel into our bedroom. I thrifted um, the lamps that are in there now back in 2019, I think it was. Um, so it's been a long time now. I love the mercury glass look of them. But they just don't pull in that cottage feel that I really love that's truly my style. And like that, you know, 
quaint little cottage grandma type of style and I feel like that these really capture that and when I saw them they were five dollars each and I was like I have to get those. The base of them kind of reminds me almost of like some of the creamy white dishes that I love to collect with the florals on them or some of my platters. I felt like that just matched so well. Y'all will see in a video coming up soon, I thrifted some platters that kind of look like that. So I just feel like it really captures like everything that I love and then it has this pretty gold accent which I love and then the bottoms are like this pretty like brass color I just love these even the pink shades are so me and then while I was out today I also did find a potential lampshade but it is too small unfortunately for the floor lamp it kind of just looks a little funny so I definitely need to have an eye out for a bigger one but I will share with you once I find one I could literally cry right now <laughs> why are they even so much better than I thought oh how precious and i'm so thankful they work i plugged it in and i was like oh my gosh i didn't even test them out please tell me they work and they work i did take down the arch because it just did not match the look it didn't go with the vintage and i feel like it was time for them to go so let's do the other one so this year is the year that I want to start incorporating that country cottage, English cottage feel into our bedroom. And I want to bring you all along for the process. I'm just going to pick up things piece by piece and start incorporating them into this room. That way it will match the rest of the house. So I'm very excited for it to start feeling much more like us in here. And I want to bring you all along for that process. My husband got home yesterday and I said, come here, I want to show you something. And he came in here and he was like, something's missing. Don't tell me. Something's different. And he was like, the arches, they're gone. And then he was like, the lamps. Oh, cool, they're antique. <laughs> and I was like, do you like them? And he was like, yeah, they're really nice. I like them. He was like, I really hated those other ones. They were too big and bulky. And they just didn't match the rest of our vintage stuff. <laughs> and I was like, I'm so glad you like them. So that was just so cute to me, I had to share. Okay, this vlog is probably gonna be like an hour long because I have so much I wanted to pack into it. I probably should have split it up into two, but we'll just go ahead and continue this. But I wanted to share with you part of like starting our seeds because it is about that time to start getting our seeds started. And we want to start some of our lettuce and greens and things like that. I have like kale, lettuce, um, and things like that that I want to get started today. I think I have some spinach and that's what I'm going to focus on. So I thought I would bring you along. I got this container from Michael's last year. I shared it on my channel and I think they also have them on Amazon so I can also link it, but it makes your seeds so much more organized. I got that idea from Becky from Acre Homestead and so thankful she shared this tip. <laughs> This dirt is making me so happy right now. It smells like spring.
okay i'm gonna end the video here thank you so much if you watched until the end i know it was kind of long but i hope that you enjoyed this kind of like a mixture of things vlog it was super fun to film and i would love to do more of these so i hope you enjoyed it um and stay tuned for lots of fun videos coming up soon and make sure that you subscribe i'm already starting to plan out like spring content and spring ideas i really want to film something soon that is like a recreation of a video that i did a few years ago i think i filmed it back in 2021 but it was called what to thrift in spring and just kind of revamp that video a little bit add some things to it and share things that i love to pick up at the thrift store or look for to add into my home that time of year and refresh it and give it a spring feel for an affordable price. That's something that I really love and I would love to update that video and share even more ideas. So I'm excited about that. And I also wanna to continue to bring you all along the process of filling our home with beautiful, meaningful treasures that I collect over time. I've loved bringing y'all along for that process over the past few years. And thank you if you're still here with me. I would love to continue doing that and continue sharing that type of content with you. So um, thank you again for watching and I will see you in my very next video.